Hi, welcome to lecture number 59 of Fuzzy Sets, Logic and Systems and Applications. In this lecture today, I will discuss Sukamoto Fuzzy Model. Sukamoto Fuzzy Model is a very special kind of model where we have the consequent part of the fuzzy rule a monotonically increasing or decreasing membership function. So it looks like that this fuzzy rule has a crisp function, but actually the consequent part of the fuzzy rule of this fuzzy model that means Sukamoto fuzzy model is always represented by a monotonically increasing or decreasing membership function and the highest value of this membership function can go up to 1 not beyond that. So in nutshell I can say that Sukamoto fuzzy model involves the fuzzy rule, a set of fuzzy rules of the form where its premise part is fuzzy and the consequent part is also fuzzy. But the consequent part here is not exactly a fuzzy set that we have seen in the case of Mamdani model or the Larsen model. But it is different here, this fuzzy set is different here, the consequent part of the fuzzy, uh, the consequent of, uh, part of the fuzzy set is different in the sense that this fuzzy set of the consequent part is represented by or characterized by a membership function which is monotonically increasing or decreasing. So if this is the case then the fuzzy set of the this type which is characterized by the monotonically increasing or decreasing membership function will always be of this kind like either it is left open or right open fuzzy set. So this is right open and this is left open. So this kind of thing with the consequent part happens and here as I mentioned that the consequent part of the fuzzy rule is fuzzy. Like we have in the case of Mamdani model, Mamdani fuzzy model and the Larsen fuzzy model, the Sukamoto fuzzy model also has the fuzzy rule of the kind of the type where the premise part is fuzzy and the consequent part is also fuzzy. So this has to be noted very clearly. Now the inferred output of each rule, please understand carefully here that the inferred, rule, inferred output of each rule, each fuzzy rule is a crisp value. And this is found corresponding to the firing strength, that means the weight of that particular rule. So the overall output is taken as the weighted average of the output of each rule. So Sukamoto fuzzy model basically avoids the time consuming process of defuzzification because here the final output is the weighted average of output of each rule. So that is where 
this makes the difference so let us understand the sukamoto fuzzy model so here we have a rule as we have taken uh, in case of mamdani fuzzy model and the larsen fuzzy model so the same rule is being taken so this doesn't need any explanation here and this rule has the premise part where we have two antecedents connected by and or or connective and then then part we have the which is known as the consequent part and this is z is ci and i here signifies the ith fuzzy rule so in any model any fuzzy model we can have any number of rules say here we have n number of rules small n number of rules so that is why i has been used here and this is our ith rule so i can represent this by r i so ith rule can be if small x is a i and or r y is b i then z is c i where i can go from 1 to 3 up to small n and fuzzy sets a i b i and c i are expressed as you can see here similarly b fuzzy set and then the c fuzzy set the firing strength of ith fuzzy rule is defined by here the wi this is for ith rule so that's why wi has been written and then here the mu r a i of x and then we have a mean sign the open triangle sign and then here we have mu b i y so and this is mu b i of y so what are these values basically these are the values corresponding to the input that we feed that we apply to the model and corresponding membership values will give us the weights and then these weights basically after taking either min or product will give us the firing strength of the rule or weight of the rule so when we have this firing strength of the rule available then the overall input can be found by taking the weighted average of the output of each rule you can see here like this so z star has been used so please understand here that we do not use any union of the the outputs of the rules means we are not doing the we are not taking the union of the outputs of the rules that are applicable for the particular input so let us now move ahead and have uh, the cases of single rule with single antecedent and then single rule with multiple antecedents then multiple rules with multiple antecedents and these cases will be discussing with fuzzy inputs as well as the crisp inputs here as i mentioned that the sukamoto fuzzy model doesn't follow strictly the composition compositional rule of inference what is that compositional rule of inference this is max min or max product so since here we are not taking the union so max is not applicable here the output is the weighted average of 
the outputs that are coming out from each rule which is up which are applicable so let us now discuss all these cases one by one for the fuzzy inputs and the crisp inputs so let us discuss first the single rule with single antecedent here so as we already know that if we have a model fuzzy model let's say called a, a sukamoto model so sukamoto model is defined by is characterized by only one rule that is single rule and which is of this type where we have single antecedents like if x is a then y is b so if this is the rule that is there for the model and this rule is known now if a new input comes to the input uh, comes to the model as the input here x is a dash a dash is nothing but what is a dash a dash is fuzzy set some fuzzy value fuzzy set or fuzzy value uh, fuzzy set is used for uh, describing or uh, quantifying the fuzzy value so i can write here the fuzzy value so if this is the case then our output corresponding to the x input that is fuzzy here will be this so we'll discuss this here so if we have a single rule with single antecedent which is here so x is a is already there then corresponding to this x is a we have the output which is b and this is the b fuzzy set and please note that here the premise part has a fuzzy set which is a bell shaped fuzzy set whereas the consequent part you see the fuzzy set that we have here is the left open fuzzy set and the highest value of this fuzzy set is going up to only 1 and this is monotonically decreasing fuzzy set so let us i can write here the monotonically monotonically decreasing fuzzy set or monotonically decreasing function fuzzy set function so and this is, is actually the fuzzy set so here this is the rule that is given to us for the sukamoto fuzzy model so here a new input this is a new input which is coming new input i can write here new fuzzy input that is coming here and if this input is coming to the model as input to the sukamoto model as input so what we do we try to superimpose this fuzzy value this fuzzy set on the the fuzzy set a which was already given which is already given in the rule so a is already there so a we already have so we try to superimpose a dash with a and then we find the 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 intersection point if any so here we have the intersection point which is called weight and i can represent this by w since this is the uh, for the first rule i mean here you can have only you have only one rule so i'm not writing w1 or uh, w2 like that but i can simply write w 
So W represents the points, uh, point of intersection and since we have only one antecedent here, so we are not going to use any compositional rule here like min or product. So this W is our strength of this rule. So W is here basically 0 0.58. is w is equal to 0 0.58. Now when we have this w available, this is also known as the firing strength of the root. So when we have this, now corresponding to this point here, we try to find the y. We see here that this is nothing but the mu x that means the membership function membership value corresponding to the x and here this is mu y so corresponding to 5 uh, 0 0.58 we try to find the y1 which is here so y1 is you can see the y1 here y1 is 4.88. So this 4.88 is the value, the crisp value which we are getting corresponding to the fuzzy input that we are feeding to the model, to the Sukamoto model which is, uh, which has the single rule which is characterized by the single rule with single antecedent. And the input is fuzzy here that is a dash. So the interesting point here is that we always get a crisp output of the root. Means even if we provide the fuzzy input, we are getting the crisp output which is y1 here. So y1 is for this case 4.88. Now since we have only one rule, so the weighted average is going to be the same. Here it is w1 which need not be there. So I can write here w1 okay and this w corresponding to this, uh, this rule the output is 0.58 we have y star is equal to w1 into y1 over 1 and so we are getting 4.88. So here the weighted average is going to remain the same. Now what if we have the crisp input? So if we have crisp input x is equal to x1. The output here is going to be y1 and let's see how do we find the corresponding output here for the crisp input. So here we have the rule and corresponding to this rule we have the fuzzy set A that is already given. Now we have the input some input let's say x1 is equal to 6.8 so we have taken x1 is equal to 6.8 which is lying within the reason of universe of discourse and also it is lying within the reason of the fuzzy set a if it is not lying within the reason of fuzzy set a this rule will not be applicable so this input has to intersect the fuzzy set before the rule can be applicable. So here we are taking x1 is equal to 6.8 and corresponding to this input we are getting the intersection point which is let's say w1 here and this w1 is equal to 0.34. And this 0.34 we have got this is called the rule strength, fuzzy rule strength or strength of the fuzzy rule. This is also called the weight of the rule. So 
Corresponding to this, now coming to the consequent part fuzzy set which is here and corresponding to this we are getting the corresponding to this mu y it be, this becomes mu y mu y is equal to 0.34 so corresponding to this we are getting our y1 here as 5.21 and again since we have only one rule so we have only single rule so the weighted average is going to remain the same so this way even if we have the fuzzy input or the crisp input for this case for this model the sukamoto model where we have only one rule with single antecedent we are going to get the crisp output and the output calculation is very simple we are not going to here apply here the compositional rule also which is not actually applicable because the min if it, if we are let's say apply the max min composition so min will not be applicable or product even will not be applicable because we have only one antecedent similarly the max is not applicable because here first of all we have only one rule but even if we have more number of rules then also the output is the weighted average of the outputs of the rules now let us come to the other case the second case second case here is that we have a sukamoto model and let's say it is characterized by the single rule but with multiple antecedents so we have single rule let's say and then this rule has multiple antecedents so let's now look at this rule and see how does it look like so we have here this rule where we have only one rule the model is characterized by model is uh, represented by only one rule where we have here in this case we have two antecedents so we see that we have first antecedent as x is a and the second antecedent in this case is y is b and both of these antecedents are connected by the connective and so instead of and it could be any other connective like or but etc so when we say single rule with multiple antecedents so multiple antecedent uh, can be any number here we have only two we can have any number like 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 and so on so here for simplicity we have taken only two antecedents and these are joined by connected by the connective and so this is connective as we already discuss all right so next is to find the output final output corresponding to some input so we'll go ahead and first apply the fuzzy input so here we have the single rule rule is here but here we have two inputs the input 1 which is x is equal to which is input x is equal to a dash this, is, this means the fuzzy input is provided and then the another input simultaneously fed is y is equal to b dash so these two inputs are together supplied to the model now let's see how will this rule help us in finding the corresponding output so like we have done in the past what we do here we superimpose 
the inputs, the fuzzy inputs on A and B respectively. A and B are already there in the fuzzy set, uh, in the fuzzy rule. So, here we see that when we superimpose, we find the intersection. Here, when we here, when we superimpose, we get W1 and then we get here another intersection here which is W1. So, this is let us say W1 1 and this is let us say W2. Now, since we have here two antecedents, now if we use min composition from mix uh, uh, max min, so the W1 becomes min of the W11 and then here W12. So, the firing strength of the rule, firing strength of rule becomes W1 is equal to 0 0.36 and corresponding to this 0 0.36 the Z1 which is the output fuzzy set we get Z1 is equal to 5.19 here and it is very clear from this picture. Here. So, our Z1 is Z1 corresponding to x is equal to a dash and y, y is equal to b dash here. And since we have only one rule, so the weighted average becomes the same. So, this is weighted average and since we have only one rule as I said the 5.19 will become the final output. Now what if we supply crisp input to the Sukamoto model characterized by single rule with multiple antecedents. So let us see that here we are supplying x is equal to x1 some crisp value and y is equal to y1. Here x1, y1 are the crisp values that are being supplied. So, let us take x1 is equal to 6.5, y1 is equal to 8.5 and when we apply this, when we here, we use this x1 value and y1 value, we see that the rule that was given and that is characterizing the Sukamoto fuzzy model, the rule is here, is here. So, this is actually known. So, this rule is known. So, when the rule is known, we can say the model is known. So, all the parameters of this rule is known, means A is known, B is known, C is known. So, here Corresponding to this x1, we have the membership value is 0.81 which is called the weight here. So, w1 let us say here w11, yeah, this is the first rule. So, first rule uh, is W1 and then for the first antecedent, so W11 and then here corresponding to Y1 similarly we get let us say W12 and 
if we take the min composition here so we take the min criteria when we take the min criteria so firing strength of the rule comes out to be this is firing strength of the rule which is coming out to be w1 and w1 here is 0 0.36 and corresponding to this 0 0.36 you see here this is 0 0.36 and corresponding to this the through the output fuzzy set which is monotonically decreasing fuzzy set we are getting z1 here 5.19 so now since we have only one rule again here in this case because this is single rule with multiple antecedent uh, model Sukamoto model so the final output is a weighted average and weighted average is going to be the same so 5.19 is the final output corresponding to x1 is equal to 6.5 y1 is equal to 8.5 now let us go to the third case where our Sukamoto model is characterized by the multiple rules with multiple antecedents. So we have here two rules for simplicity we have taken only two rules but it can be any number of rules say up to n and similarly we can have antecedents here any number of antecedents here we have for simplicity only two antecedents so two rules and two antecedents for simplicity we have taken now if we supply the inputs to this model to this Sukamoto model which is characterized by the multiple rules with multiple antecedents let's see how we get the output final output computed so here we have the rule number one i write here as rule one so rule one basically has a1 b1 c1 fuzzy sets which are known to us the, all the parameters of this rule are known Similarly, we have rule 2 here and here also A2, B2, C2 are known. So, when we feed the input, X is A dash. A dash is a fuzzy value. Similarly, Y is, let's say B dash, which is again a fuzzy value so when these two fuzzy value values are supplied to this model let's see let's see the uh, how the output final output we can compute so x is equal to a dash y is equal to b dash when it goes to the when it applies to the first rule so as we have already done we superimpose this fuzzy value these two fuzzy values to the fuzzy sets that are already present in the antecedents a1 and b1 respectively so here this is the antecedent for x this is the antecedent for y so we superimpose a dash with a1 and we superimpose b dash with b1 b1 is known a dash is known a1 is known b dash is known a1 is known all are the fuzzy values are known so now we look for the intersection points so here since this is the first rule i am writing w1 and then first antecedent we write one here 
So W11 here is 0 0.86. Similarly, for this antecedent, the intersection point is W12 is equal to 0.36. This is 0.36. All right, so now if we apply the min of these two, so the min is going to be here, the rule strength is going to be zero point three six and corresponding z one here, you see that the corresponding z one here is 5.19 for the first row. Similarly, when we apply the same input to the rule 2, these points are coming out to be, the weights are coming out to be here W21 and then this is W22. So, W21 is 0.58 W22 is 0 0.35 and if we take min of this, we are getting here as W2 is equal to 0 0.35. So, this is rule strength of 1 and this is the rule strength of 2. Or I can say here the firing strength, it is more appropriate to write firing strength of rule 1. So, this can be written as firing strength of rule 2 and here corresponding to W2 you can see here corresponding to W2 we are getting Z2 that means the corresponding output 4.79. So, please note that here we are getting two outputs Z1 and Z2. So, we are getting Z1 and Z2 output. Z1 is corresponding to the first rule. Z2 is corresponding to the second rule. And both these outputs are, the rule outputs are corresponding to the input, fuzzy input A dash x is equal to A dash y is equal to B dash. Now, the next step is to, since we have uh, two outputs, two outputs from the rules, two rules, so, we go for the weighted average of it. So, weights we already know here. This is our W1, this is our W2 and here this is our Z1, 5.19 is Z1 this and 4.79 is Z2. So, when we take weighted average we already know the formula of the weighted average. I can once again write it here. So, Z star is nothing but W1 Z1 plus W2 Z2 over W1 plus W2. So, this way we compute the final output as 4.99 to 8 corresponding to the fuzzy input x is equal to a dash and y is equal to b dash and please note that this model this the outcome of um, this is the outcome of the model Sukamoto model with multiple rules with multiple antecedents. Now what happens when we supply the crisp inputs. So, here 
everything remains the same the input becomes crisp input x is equal to x1 and y is equal to y1 so now let's go ahead and see here we have the rule 1 here we have the rule 1 and in this rule 1 uh, we have the crisp input so when we apply this input crisp input x1 is equal to 7 and y1 is equal to 6.5 so corresponding to this x1 is equal to 7 and y is equal to 6.5 we get two points of intersection here so for the first antecedent where we have a1 a1 for a1 we are getting this value this x1 is equal to 7 is giving us the intersection point at 0 0.28 so this i can write as w11 similarly here why w11 because this is for the first incident and antecedent and first rule Similarly, here this is first rule and first antecedent. So, sorry, this is uh, second antecedent. First rule, second antecedent. So, W12 is 0.97. Now, if we use min, so min of these two is going to give us W1, which is as I mentioned the firing strength here firing strength of the rule of the rule 1 so corresponding to this w here corresponding to this w1 rather corresponding to this w1 here we are getting the output z1 and z1 is here point z1 is 5.31 so the outcome of the rule 1 is z1 which is 5.31 similarly now we go to rule 2 so here we have rule 2 now the rule 2 here gives us the intersection points like this the w1 since this is uh, the second rule so we have we will write w21 and then here we'll write the w22 the second rule second antecedent so corresponding to the y1 here which is crisp 6.5 we are getting two values, two intersection points and when we take min, we get the firing is min of these two will give us W2 and W2 is nothing but the firing strength of the rule 2. Firing strength of rule 2. Now we have corresponding to W1 z2 here and z2 is 4.4 so now these two inputs we already have z1 and z2 now let's go ahead and find the weighted average so weighted average is giving us here z star which is the final output and z star is equal to 5.0067 and we already know that 6 uh, we have our W1 0 0.28 and W2 0 0.14 and 5.31 as Z1, 4.4 as Z2. So, if we substitute all these values here, Z star is Z W1 Z1 plus W2 Z2 over w1 plus w2 so this is giving us z star is equal to the final output 
corresponding to x1 is equal to 7, x y1 is equal to 6.5, we are getting z star is equal to 5.0067. So this is how corresponding to the crisp inputs with multiple rules and multiple antecedents which, are, which is describing the Sukamoto model, we are getting the output. Now let us take a very simple example here of Sukamoto fuzzy model where we have three rules. So this fuzzy rule is defined by this fuzzy model is defined by three fuzzy rules and this rule as we see here these, these three rules are of the type of multiple antecedents. So we see the, the premise part we have two antecedents in all these three rules. So this is of the kind of model, fuzzy model, Sukamoto fuzzy model which is the multiple antecedents and multiple rules and the membership functions here are already known as since the model is known so membership functions have been given here mu a uh, low mu a medium mu a high mu b low mu b medium mu b high so here the we have two this model has two generic variables as inputs x and y are input generic variables z here is the output generic variable output generic variable and please understand that the x the complete x is divided into three fuzzy reasons low medium high so this means that these fuzzy reasons have three fuzzy these fuzzy reasons are characterized by three fuzzy sets and the membership functions corresponding membership functions here are mentioned you can see here for the input and similarly for the input y so for input x here input x and then here we have input y generic variable so we see that in both the inputs, input generic variables, we have three, three fuzzy reasons. And in the output here, z, we have only two fuzzy reasons and both the fuzzy reasons are represented by fuzzy sets. The Here, the sigmoid fuzzy sets, low and high. The input x reason is has three reasons represented by three fuzzy sets all the fuzzy sets are trapezoidal type similarly here input y also all the fuzzy sets all the fuzzy sets of the three fuzzy reasons are trapezoidal type so now when we give the input the crisp input here crisp input. So for this crisp input what will be the corresponding output and that too in crisp form. So let us now see as to how we can find it and the universe of discourses of the inputs and outputs are mentioned here. So the fuzzy reasons, the membership functions that are given if we plot the 
um, fuzzy sets will look like this low medium high similarly here also this will look like this so all of these are given these are known so we don't have to uh, worry for the parameters of these fuzzy sets these are already given here you can see these are the membership functions which are characterizing the corresponding fuzzy sets so let us apply the input and what is the input here is x is equal to 6 65 y is equal to 55 so these two this input has two parameters x is equal to 65 y is equal to 55 both these values are now applied and since we have the three fuzzy reasons so the first step here is to find where it is intersecting where this x 65 is intersecting so this line when we see is intersecting at here 2.25 and then 0.75 you can see so this is the first step first step is to find the corresponding to the input that is here uh, 65 so see corresponding to 65 what are the fuzzy regions which are applicable what are the fuzzy sets that are applicable so please understand that the x is equal to 65 is intersecting medium and high only not low in this case so low is not relevant only medium and high are relevant for x is equal to 65 this is the first step that we check while we are computing the output so step number one i can write here next is similarly we check for the other antecedent like y is equal to 55 so y is equal to 55 we see that this corresponding to y is equal to 55 we are getting high and medium medium is not intersected because uh, it is uh, um, when we see uh, where y is equal to 55 is cutting at medium medium is at zero so we see that y we see that medium is not relevant only high is relevant high fuzzy set fuzzy set for high is relevant so y is equal to 55 only one fuzzy set is applicable now or in other words we can say that low and medium are not at all applicable so we have for x is equal to 65 two intersection points whereas for y we have only one intersection points y is equal to 55 now we multiply these two means two intersection points and then the a uh, one intersection point for the other antecedent so two into one means we have two into one is two here so only two combinations are happening here what is that combination the combination is when my x is medium and high or what is the other combination here when my x is high and high so we have two combinations i can write here the medium i can write x here and y here i can write medium by m and i can write high by h so first combination could be the medium high and then other combination the next one is high because the x is 65 is cutting high fuzzy set also so high and high so two combinations we are getting now corresponding to these two combinations what will be my output that is z so this we can find by this we can find by 
the rules that are given. So let us now check here the given rules are here. So first rule here is the rule number 1 here is when my input is A, when my input is low, input A is low or I can say input 1 is low and then my input 2 is medium, then the output or I can write here x, y. So, input x is input y and output z here. So, my input x is low, the output y is medium, then the output z is going to be low. This is z. So, this rule 1 is not apply applicable because we see that we have first combination medium and high, the second combination is high and high. Here we see that low and medium is not applicable. So, we, we are not seeing any combination which is low and medium, so this rule will not apply. Now, next we look for medium and high which is here. So, rule 2 is applicable where we have medium high x is equal to medium y is equal to high I mean when x falls in the medium y falls in high then the output also falls in high we can see here this one. So this way from this rule we find we can very easily find the output is going to be the z is going to fall in high region. So, I can write here high. Similarly, what happens when x falls in h and y falls in h? So, when x falls in h here and then y falls in h, output also falls in h. So, this rule is already there. So, rule number 3 also applies and with this combination we can write here high. So, it means both the outputs are from high fuzzy region in the output and these are the, the computations that we do for getting the corresponding membership values which are nothing but the intersection points here for x is equal to 65 here for low, for medium, for high and similarly for the other antecedent, the second antecedent here y is equal to 55, y is equal to 55 here, so uh, for low, medium and high. So, this way we get the points of intersection. Alright, so now when we know these rules which are applicable, these two rules are applicable here for the input that we are supplying. Now, let us compute the corresponding outputs. Now, this is very simple. We have already done this. So, rule number 2, we have medium, high and high. So, when we have the input 65, we see the points of intersection. See here. So, this I can write W1, 1 and similarly corresponding to Y input, we get the W1, 1, W1, 2. So, our first step was, let me just recap, the first step was to get the points of intersection in the fuzzy regions, means we need to first find all the combinations corresponding to the inputs that we are supplying. So, we need to know what are the fuzzy sets that we are getting intersected that are applicable and that is how we make the combinations and these combinations we check with the given rules. So, then from these rules we find that what are the corresponding outputs and so here in the given rules we find we uh, 
uh, we we check what are the applicable rules so these are the applicable rules here so the given rules are normally more than the applicable rules all right so this way when we have come to know the what are the rules that are going to be applicable so this i can write as the step number 2 next is same as what we have done in this lecture like for particular inputs how do we get the output for the case multiple antecedents and multiple rules of sukamoto fuzzy model so now when we apply x is equal to 65 y is equal to 55 so since rule 1 is not applicable so we have not written here only rule 2 is written here so we are applying this in these two inputs in rule 2 and then we find w1 1 w12 and corresponding to this we have here the firing strength of the rule 1 which is nothing but the w1 is equal to point 75 if we take min similarly here this is w21 this intersection is w22 and if we take min of these two we are getting here w2 which is the firing strength of the rule 2 now corresponding to w1 here the z1 that is coming out to be 57.197 corresponding to w2 the firing strength of the rule 2 we are getting z2 is equal to 52.803 now when we have gotten these two values these two outputs which are coming from the rule number 2 rule number 3 respectively now we take the weighted average of this so weighted average will be z star let's say we are interested in final output so final output will be w1 into w into z1 plus w2 z2 over w1 plus w2 let us now quickly here we are here so let us now quickly substitute these values and our z star becomes here finally z star is 56.0985 so this is the output corresponding to the input that we have supplied here one thing that needs to be noted here is that even if we apply even if we use rule number 1 our inputs that are here x is equal to 65 y is equal to 55 it is not cutting it is not giving any intersection point so that is why we have through that step 2 through step 1 step 2 we have already filtered that so we are not going to get any point of intersection even when we use rule number 1 so um, in this process right from the beginning we have found out what are the rules that are applicable where we are getting the points of intersection so this way using rule number 2 rule number 3 we are getting our z star is equal to the final output is equal to 56.0985 corresponding to the crisp inputs x is equal to here 65 and 55 so this way we have seen that as to how we can use sukamoto fuzzy model to find out the output corresponding to the crisp input or fuzzy input so with this i would like to stop here and in the next lecture i will discuss the tsk fuzzy model tsk fuzzy model is nothing but the takaki sujeno and Thank you for the model. Thank you.